Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just want to start off with a huge thank you to all of my wonderful subscribers. I just recently hit 10,000, yay! And I could not be more grateful. When I started this channel, I really did not think that it would turn out the way it has. I thought maybe a few people would be interested and it would just be something fun for me to do. But y'all, seriously, it has really turned out to be so much more. I love making these videos and chatting with everyone in the comments. It really has become a space for me to talk about all the things I love with people who share the same interests. So thank you all so very much. Truly Truly, I am so grateful for each and every one of you. All right, so before I get too emotional, <laughs> let's talk about today's video. As you can see, I'm setting up my weeklies for July. When I was planning out my monthly, I must have totally forgotten about the washi stickers in the sub box. For those of you who missed my July setup, I based the entire theme off of the Archer and Olive quarterly sub box, but I don't know how I completely missed all these stickers. It actually worked out though because they are perfect for my weeklies. So I started out drawing seven boxes for the days, leaving some space on the top left for all the pretty stuff. <laughs> then I added the orange washi as date headers. I love this washi so much and I love this idea. It's probably the easiest way to make an impact on a spread. Once I had all the washi trimmed down, I took the blue acrylograph and wrote July in the top left. I'm not sure why I wrote July. It just felt like it needed a word there and I didn't know what else to write. I don't use week numbers. Otherwise, I probably would have done that. Maybe I'll do like a word of the week in the future because it just seems weird to me to continually write the month that we're in on every weekly spread. I know I see it all the time and I do it all the time, but I don't know why. For some reason with this month, it just seems weird to just keep writing July. Anyway, I'm obviously overthinking it, but what do you guys do? I'm actually kind of in love with the idea of a word of the week, so we'll see next month if I remember to do it. Anyway, once July was written, I pulled out some grid washi, who's surprised by that, really, <laughs> and then added one of the washi stickers. The stickers are very see-through, so instead of using them as intended, I left the backing on and used my adhesive roller to stick them on. I like this better because the design doesn't get lost in the washi tape underneath the sticker. For the days of the week, I took scrap paper and made loose oval shaped blobs using the berry mist calligraph. If you guys have been around for a while, you'll know that I have been searching for small precision scissors that don't hurt my hand. And y'all, I finally found them. These scissors are amazing. I can create so much more <laughs> because my hand isn't killing me. I, I highly recommend them. Okay, moving on to the next spread. I'm gonna be honest, I struggled with this washi tape. I like that it's a mix of patterns. It's really pretty, but honestly, I really just wanted that lemon washi tape. <laughs> I just wanted to use the lemons. <laughs> also, you may have noticed that the boxes are not all the same size. That was actually on purpose. So because I only have six boxes instead of seven, Saturday and Sunday are together. I do this a lot, but lately I've needed more space. So I made the ones on the right larger, but then the sticker wouldn't fit on the left. So I made the ones on the left smaller. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes sense. Once the spread is finished, it looks great, so it actually doesn't bother me at all. I tried to be a bit more creative with the date headers this week because I tend to just do the same thing over and over. So I used the yellow acrylograph to do sort of like paint swatches. I really love the way that this looks.
The lemon cart got kind of lost in front of the super busy washi tape underneath it. So I outlined it with my permanent fine liner. I used permanent because a regular fine liner would just wipe right off since it's a washi sticker. And just adding that outline really helped it stand out so much more. and I used the pink acrylograph for the date and then that spread was done. Okay, so this spread is completely different from the rest. <laughs> I really wanted to bring in the flower stamps that I used for my mood tracker. So I stamped them all along the top and the bottom of the spread. My initial plan was to bring in some of the washi from the sub box and add a lot more color, but I really loved how it looked with just the black and white. So I just left it as is. This might be my favorite spread, even though it's like completely off theme. <laughs> Not completely, but it doesn't look like the rest of them. <laughs> I just think it's so simple and fun. It could easily be a theme all on its own. I could easily see a cover page with this all over the spread and a simple banner for a title, either like monochromatic or coloring in certain parts of the flowers or leaves. Like I, I think it would be so beautiful as its own theme. We are at the last week and I'm gonna go back to the large seven box layout. I changed it up a little by giving some space between each box, but this is one of my favorite ways to do a weekly. It gives me plenty of space to write in each day, but also gives me some creative space as well. As I'm doing this voiceover, I'm realizing how much I like the idea of a word of the week. <laughs> <laughs> it could be something you want to focus on, like an intention or even a small motivational quote or a funny quote that makes you laugh every time you open your bullet journal. Oh my gosh, that would be so much fun. Just something funny to brighten your day, give you a smile on your face first thing in the morning when you write your to-do list, because who enjoys doing that? <laughs> Let's hope I remember to do that next month. So I did struggle with this spread a little bit. After doing the last spread and loving how simple it was, I wanted this one to be just as simple, but I also wanted to use that little scooter because I mean, it's adorable, right? It's so stinking cute. <laughs> I started out with the light blue washi, but it sort of clashed with the light blue headers. So I changed it to the blue grid. I also used the blue acrylograph for July, as well as the days of the week to sort of bring in that bright blue color from the grid washi tape. I also added some drop shadow because it just felt like it needed it. My camera actually died right at the end of this spread, but it's just me writing the days in and you can see that here, so. All right, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.